Hey guys, Moshe, the Electric Israel is here. I want to give you an update about the Tesla Giga 3 in Shanghai, China. It looks like, and it's all confirmed that it was open today after about a week and a half that it was not. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, prevention measures were taken to from the epidemic of the corona. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. Also, the um, president of China, Xi Jinping, was seen uh, for the first time today wearing a mask and everybody was around him. I'm not sure the, if this is a sign of confidence to give, but be that as it may, that, that's what happened. Let me read you a quote um, uh, regarding the uh, uh, measures that we've taken. Uh, Epidemic prevention measures has been uh, significantly improved around the factory and a large amount of security was maintained at the gate of the Shanghai factory to maintain order. Once the non-Tesla employees vehicle is parked at the gate of the Giga factory in Shanghai area, relevant security will conduct <clears throat> interrogations and dismissal. Work and parking permits are required to be checked before entering, before officially entering the factory area. Everyone needs to go through another inspection. In other words, they are doing a thorough inspection of everybody who comes in into the building, making sure that nobody has uh, contracted the uh, the virus. Uh, looks like a British Airway uh, suspended uh, flying to uh, China. Uh, people in China are on the edge. Uh, Tesla is not the only factory that is reopened today. Others they do uh, with extreme precautions. Tesla did say that he, uh, it's going to play a little catch up and Q1 results from China will not be the same as anticipated. This is a factory that's supposed to produce 3,000 cars per week to start and 150,000 a year. <clears throat> also, the stock uh, responded accordingly. It was up more than 9% in the morning and it ended up at 2.10%, $23.21 up this today on this news. So uh, it looks like things might be starting to get to some kind of a routine with extreme precaution. I feel really bad for the Chinese people and what happened. I just want to say another perspective. Close to a thousand people were killed so far uh, by, this, uh, uh, by this horrible virus. If we put in perspective, in America, 35,000 people die every year from the regular flu, quote unquote. So it is, it is something to think about, uh, take precautions, and I am sure that the correct uh, vaccine will be developed as soon as possible to get this going. I mean, I mean this is a human tragedy, forget business and, and, and anything. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I will give you daily updates if necessary. Thank you guys for watching.